What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate reverse ranch no hate. I just want to say, several months ago, Connor Ben versus Chris Eubanks Jr. was supposed to happen, and due to failed drug tests, that fight didn't go down. Now, people like to comment and say things when they hear news. Sometimes it's better to not even say anything. And as long as you keep your nose clean, it's not you. You don't really have to worry about it. Now, when you do speak to slam a person and to say things against them because you believe that they cheated, well... Okay? I'm not going to say you don't have the right to speak your opinion. One of those people was Kell Brook, who has also failed his drug test and is now facing, what is it, a two-year ban? A year ban, a two-year ban, whatever. But you see, this is why I say these fighters are not content creators. They're basically just being asked questions. And if you really truly feel like a person is really violating and, and, and dirty and you speak because you're really like you know disappointed, angry or whatever the hell it is you feel okay about what they were accused of you for damn sure need to make sure that you don't do the same things so you know Connor Ben defended himself you know, said it was a woman's fertility fertility drug. Then all of a sudden, you know, I hope the apologies are as loud as the, as the disrespect. And then he ends up saying he ate 30 eggs. And it's like, after all that, you, you just remember you ate 30 eggs. Okay, whatever. Well, I don't know what Kell Brook, you know, Kell, uh, not Kell Brook, I'm sorry, Amir Khan. I might have said Kell Brook, Amir Khan. Um, And I was thinking about that because, you know, Kell Brook, he pretty much has something to say about Amir Khan. That's, that's so Amir Khan is who we're talking about here. But Amir Khan is now facing a one to two year ban it is or whatever for failing the drug test. So I just say this, right? What can we actually trust now? You know when a fighter says they're clean, we don't know that. Is either you believe him or you don't. But it's just to a point where things are just happening. Even when it's sporadically, it, it, it's the type of thing though, where you just start adding all this up. And it's like the fighters that have the most to say are the ones that end up failing drug tests. You know, I remember Jarrell Big Pharmacy Miller going on different shows saying that Anthony Joshua was taking pads, Anthony Joshua was juicing, Anthony Joshua is and and just saying a bunch of stuff and then he ends up failing and it's so funny because he comes back now and the first thing he starts doing is you know calling out Anthony Joshua, calling his name and saying he's a coward and he's this and this like you must have you know you must you 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 must think we forgot why <laughs> you've been gone and came back and had four dismal fights and, and now all of a sudden, you know, I'm back. Let me let me, you know, try to pick up where I left off and whatever. But it's always like as soon as a person stands and talk real confident about somebody else, it's like, you know, somebody out of that group, they wind up doing the same thing or being accused of the same thing anyway. And then what? So now, how does it feel when you're, on the, when you're on the other side? And my thing is, if you're not doing anything, you don't have to worry about failing anything. Now, are they... <laughs> I don't know. Did he eat 40 eggs? I don't know. It's just one of these things, though, y'all. That I'm not even shocked when I heard it. It was just like, another failed drug test from another fighter. Just saying, people. I mean, Oscar Valdez, Amir Khan. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Big Pharmacy Miller. I mean, so many different people. Dillian White at one point. I mean, just so many different fighters, man. Like, and it's always, I'm clean. You know, I didn't do anything. And this is why I say humble yourselves and have less to say then. Stop, stop clout chasing or just 
trying to bash a person because as long as you lace these gloves up, you know, and, and, and you're hopping in that ring, well, now that you're being accused, it's like, eh. Now, what's your story? Especially when you clearly said there's no way that Conor Ben is, is, is clean. I mean, come on, not one but two failed drug tests and blah, blah, blah. Okay, right, you gave your take. But I'm just saying, you know, just saying, we as content creators, we, we, we speak on things because we give boxing news. But fighters love to, oh, let me take a shot now. Just saying. So I don't know. I don't know. We might dig into this some more. Maybe not. Depends. And I don't really feel like talking about it again. But let me know in the comment section what y'all think about Amir Khan. Y'all think he's clean? We think he's dirty. And I watched the video of what he was saying about, you know, uh, Conor Bennett. It was just like, yeah. And now to see you sitting there being accused, like, yeah, she was on the other foot now. Just like a fighter laugh at a fighter for losing the fight. Then that same fighter, ha ha, he, he goes and gets knocked out. So it's like, is it still funny? You know, just saying, just saying, the whole poking, poking, let's talk about him. Let's, you know, I don't know, Amir. Shit looking real shaky for you. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people and I will catch y'all on the next video.